Hey y'all, it's me, Hetty, and I'm going to show you, I've done roasted potatoes before, I've done other roasted vegetables, but this is a wonderful root mix I love, love, love to throw together. And you basically need some oil and salt and pepper and a good variety of these wonderful root vegetables. These are just the ones I had. I used totally many different ones. And a lot of times I'll even throw an onion in there with them. I don't know if I'll do that today. If I remember to, oh well. But anyway, I haven't washed or, these or anything. These are just me going through the fridge. So I had a bag of these wonderful rainbow carrots. I love them because I love these purple carrots. And I, I'm hoping to grow some this year. I have parsnips. I've got about three. I've got, this is the end of a bag of just regular carrots. And this is a half a bag of just these small little potatoes. I couldn't find any purple potatoes last week when I was looking. And of course I have two turnips. You can use rutabaga, anything like that. But I happen to have two turnips. Okay, I'm gonna wash and prep these. And when I'm ready to come back and show you the next step, I will do that. So through the magic of YouTube, Alrighty, uh, you're going to find that it actually takes longer to just prep the vegetables than it does to do anything else. Now, I'm going to give you two optional ingredients. I know I said I was just going to use salt and pepper and oil, but I am going to show you a couple of things I like to add. I've got five or six cloves of, this is my oven roasted garlic, and if you'll learn to do this, you'll never go back. And then also, I'm almost out, but I do have a little bit of rosemary. I'm going to just show you uh, that I do add rosemary. All right. First things first, I'm going to go in here and I'm going to add, I've got quite a few vegetables here, so I'm probably going to add a good, that's probably a good two and a half tablespoon drizzle. I'm going to kind of just come in and give it a little toss. You want to make sure you've got enough oil in there to coat the vegetables okay oh and I want to show you something else I did add a sweet potato that I failed to put in the bowl in the beginning of the video I think I might be happy with that I might throw in a couple of more teaspoons that probably wasn't even one teaspoon and I'm gonna give it one more stir you might not can tell by the camera but I am looking for the glistening of the oil to be on the vegetables and for the most part, it is. I'm going to toss it some more. Um, next, I'm going to toss in my garlic here. You can add fresh garlic uh, if you want to. This is just easier, and it's what I had. And I am going to add some rosemary, which I have a little bit here. I, I, I told you I was already almost out. So I'm going to just dump in what I have. This is just for demonstration purposes, really, because I don't have enough that I would normally put in here. Now I'm going to show you something. You've seen rosemary probably fresh in the produce section. And this is just the last little sprig I had left. So it's what i got to work with. But anyway, there's this little rough, uh, the stem is rough. It's not quite like a stick, but it's rough. And I've seen people just chop. Well, I don't want that in my food. So uh, this, of course, is not my technique. This is just how I learned to do it, actually, from my mother. So you just run your finger backwards. And the leaves come off. Maybe at the end you got to kind of pick them a little bit if it's about to be at the very end. See this is the tip top. And I'll just kind of break them up to get them scattered throughout. And he looks, oh yeah he's all right. Okay then I'm going to just toss all this in with the garlic. And again that's my oven roasted garlic so it's going to be kind of getting smushed up, but it's also going to scatter around more evenly around the vegetables. And that's what another thing I just love about it. So you get a little bit in every bite instead of just every eighth bite. <laughs> All right, so now I'm going to come in. I'm, I'm just using kosher today. And I'm going to add, oh, a good, maybe a rounded teaspoon worth because these are root vegetables during the cooking process. You can also salt at the table. Uh, but a lot of this will fall off during the roasting process. All right, but I'm still going to give it a good stir. And the last thing it's going to be is I'm going to come in 
with some pepper. I'm not going to go overly heavy, but I do want a good amount on there because, again, like the salt, some of it is also going to fall off during the cooking. All right. Now, I have found with root vegetables, if you want to, by all means, cover your uh, roasting pan, cookie sheet, whatever you're using, with a good coat of Pam. You can also place full if you want to. And I'm going to go here. Sometimes I have to spill over to a second uh, cookie sheet. I don't know if I will. It looks like I might. So I might need to, to split this up. That doesn't affect y'all or the video. But if you want a single layer, so what you want to do is you want to come along and just kind of, you know, mash around. Make sure you don't have a big heat anywhere because you want them to evenly get done. And if I fail to mention this, obviously you want everything as close to an even size as you can get it. So it'll roast, you know, evenly, which is what we're trying to do. So yes, I am going to use a second cookie sheet, but I can do that off camera. No big deal. All right, I have my oven. Sometimes I go 400, sometimes I go 425. I'm starting out just a hair late. So I'm probably going to do, I don't know, 415, 420 for these. And when they are ready to come out, and inevitably i'm going to be asked yes you can go in halfway through and give it a little stir if you want to just be sure that you don't fail to make them go back down into a single layer as much as possible i will see you after these in, are in the oven because i got to do the second cookie sheet they've been in about 25 minutes i'm probably gonna go about an hour but just until i stick a fork into one of the thick pieces and it's done in the middle, no doubt, because you know the edge ones are gonna get done before that. But I just wanted to add, this: these can definitely go up to an hour, hour and 15 minutes. That all depends on the pieces that you could cut. You know, what size did you make them? Did you chunk them? Did you make them very small? Uh, I don't recommend making them overly small, uh, about an inch or something like that. They can be long, like those little carrot pieces you can see in here. And I cut my parsnips long, you can cut them long. But just remember, until you've done it once or twice and you check them for doneness, you're not gonna know. Anyway, I wanted to add that in. And of course, I know I, I'm gonna probably put something in the video at some point. This is making a lot. I was kind of cleaning out my fridge uh, we're going to the store tomorrow, so I was just seeing what I had. And my kids will heat them up and eat them for lunch the next day. So I just wanted to throw that in there. I mean, if you've got a smaller family, by all means, you're going to have to cut your uh, amounts way down. This is more about the technique as opposed to the amounts. And you may find you don't like rosemary on there. You might not want garlic. It's just what you like. Make it yours. Okay, when these are done, I'm taking them out. I'll bring you back. Ooh, y'all, look. They are done to perfection, and they are hot. I just took them out of the oven. I put the other cookie sheet in, oh, a few minutes later, so I think I got another five on that. But I can already show you. These are amazing. I hope you can see that steam. Get this out of the way. And of course, I'm gonna be putting another cookie sheet's worth in here, but look at that, y'all. It is so good. I snuck a piece, yes, I did. Colorful, nice, wonderful. There's other, uh, down below, I will list other optional uh, great vegetables that I've added at different times to the mix. But again, remember, I was just using what I had already. So, with that said, my family's hungry, and I'm going to feed them. I love y'all. I appreciate it. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.